Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the HDL box application to your Fire Stick as well as the drama player, which is required for the app to work properly. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And the very first step is, of course, you need to get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. So if you already have the loader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip the step. But if you don't have the loader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course, just follow me. So we have to go to search in the Fire Stick. So we open the search bar, and then you have to start typing downloader in here. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Click on it, and here is that app, which you need to get to your device. But after you got the loader, it's not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So now, in order to actually set up the loader, we will need to go to settings by clicking this little button with a gear icon, scroll down and open My Fire TV. And now from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging. After that, head into install and on apps. And from here, all we have to do is locate downloader and just turn this option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now we just go back to a list of apps near Fire Stick. Here it is, let's open it. And now there is the downloader, which we got. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing, which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a couple of bucks per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All you have to do in a VPN app is connect to any server. Let's say you will connect to Canada right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, or in a description of this video, you will get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we just go back to a list of apps on your device, here it is, open it, and it's time to start using Downloader now. So let's go to Downloader, and here in the search bar, you have to enter the code, which will be 
one nine. So once again, it's nine six three eight nine one nine. That's the code you have to enter. Then just click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you will get even more content about flower sticks. And now the download of the app has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then just click install and wait a bit until the app installation is fully finished. And then don't click on open yet, instead press done, because this way you get an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And now when you go back to a list of apps on your device, you open it, and now here at the bottom you'll see the HDL box application. Now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the Home button on your remote. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it will be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. But for the HDL box to work, you also need the Drama Player application installed on your Fire Stick. So we have to download it as well. To do that, we return to the loader. And now there's another code which we have to enter, which will be 910-8893. Once again, it's 910-8893. That's the code to download Drama Player to your Fire Stick. Click Go, and now the process will be pretty much the same as it was for the HDL box. So we wait for the application to start downloading. There we go. The process has successfully started. Then click Install and wait a bit until the installation is fully finished. Then again, click Done, Delete, and Delete to delete those files as well. And after that, when you go back to a list of apps on your Fire Stick, you'll open it. And this time, the Drama Player will also be downloaded to your Fire Stick, so it's right there. Now, let's just open HDL Box to take a look. And now, finally, you get access to all the amazing movie and TV shows on this app. I just had to blur out my screen, because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact movies or TV shows available in the app. But in your case, of course, it's not gonna be blurred. So enjoy it all and see you next time. Bye-bye.